That's a good one. Timing. Um, for the, for, for old, old Kim, yeah, okay. it's a good way of hoping is timing. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and they always say that timing is everything. No, we're not talking about timing from when you start paying for Obamacare to when you actually receive the credits, which is I think 2015, or timing like as in BlackBerry, as in the best time to buy a phone or get rid of a phone. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Monty knows how that goes. Yeah, but Monty has a paw phone. Monty has a paw phone? Yeah. Yeah, but Monty says it's all over for the Republicans. Yeah. Monty is an independent. Oh, she always thinks it's all always over for the Republicans. I know. It, it always is over for the Republicans. And the president removes another part of Obamacare, increasing insurance. Yeah. Cause yeah. for everyone. They, everybody. The unions are throwing a fit. The Democrats are throwing a fit. They're basically his support. Okay. His fans are really up in arms. Everybody else, they said, uh, here's the words. He has no congressional, he has no legal authority to do anything he's doing. Executive action cannot be used to overturn a piece of legislation. Mm -hmm. This is his legislation, folks. And he can't, what it is, uh, the work just said, well, we didn't, we, we didn't expect that so few young people would want to join in the program, like I said. One, they're using another, that a 20-year-old, a uh, really, I mean, we're talking, this black kid has got so many degrees of 20, he makes me feel like I'm a moron, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, like he graduated from college when he was 10. Oh, really? Yeah. And he said, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm a, my, my, my advanced doctorate is in, you know, uh, whatever it is, some astro navigation and engineering. He said, I'm smart enough to understand, Mr. President, that if I'm not paying anything before, why would I want to pay something now? Because I don't give a damn about the other guy. He <laughs> said, I'm an American. So <laughs> he actually expected young people would flock at the opportunity to pay um, two or three thousand dollars a piece, which they oh. weren't paying before. It, it didn't work out that way. And Carrie is still hopeful on Mindy's peace talks. It isn't going to happen. The Muslims only have one desire, and that's to kill all the Jews. Okay, here's how it works. Most people cannot get it through their very thick skulls that uh, the Muslims and the Jews are it's a tribe thing. They're just offshoots of tribes, and they have hated... Okay, we're talking Arab... Uh, Arab hatred for one another is unbelievable. I mean, these, carry, these people have carried grudges for like 10,000 years now. And retail sales growth falls short of expectations and the market's roars on the news. Oh, I know. I heard that. That was unbelievable yesterday. The market badly missed what they were going. And then the market just jumped by 100. They said 130 points had jumped on the news that the economy was tanking. Uh, okay. They also said it all shows one very simple thing. That the market only grows when Obama puts money into things. And when Obama is not putting money into things, the market collapses. Upon hearing how bad the retail sales were, the, the, some of the Fed people let go a rumor that, uh, well, that because the market's not growing like we, the, the retail market isn't growing like what we were planning, like we were expecting, that we're probably going to have to slow the tapering down. It went up. Well, today they said the Fed officer that said that basically had no authority to say it, and the tapering is still going to happen. Mm. And Ted Cruz's father, Obamacare, is going to destroy the elderly. Yeah, <laughs> you ought to hear. I get. I, I, you want to see that? You get out and see the list of the phone calls I get of people wanting me to spend money that I wasn't spending before. Mm -hmm. Let's see another good one. I'm ancient. Why would I want to spend more money than I am currently spending? to get health care that I'm not going to use. Mm. I mean, the, the, and then I have to go to, they finally admitted that there are going to be death counselors. They're going to, they're not calling them, they're calling them grief counseling to prepare you for uh, when that time comes. Well, And I, Rubio warns Obama could act to legalize immigrants. Yeah, they said that he can do anything. Okay, here's how it works, folks that what most people really don't understand, the president has no authority over anything but things that are in the federal jurisdiction. The president of the United States had no authority to do what he did with the automobiles. He has no authority. To, they ruled that he's, he had no authority to do what he's doing with nuclear energy. Oh. He had no authority to do what he's doing with coal. 
Uh, but do you think that stopped him so far? No. He, they, uh, they, they said that only, here's the thing is, only once in American history has there been, uh, a, you know, three, three terms by the same party. You know when that was? When? That was when Franklin Roosevelt was president. And Mexico proposes energy reform and some investors skeptical. Yeah, you know why? Why? Well, because my family owned a lot of oil stuff in Mexico when they nationalized the industry. And as is the case of a lot of people, I probably will sue the Mexican government for the return. Okay, here works. If, Ameri if an American company goes into Mexico to do business with the Mexicans, I will simply sue in behalf of my parents mm -hmm. to recover losses with interest from the American company. And so will everyone else that lost what they lost their shirts by doing business with the Mexican government. If American goes in, you've got to target them. I mean, I have I roughly figured out that they owe my family like three or four billion dollars. And appeals court Obama violating law on nuke site. Yeah, he said he has no authority. The EPA has no authority to regulate anything like that because they're 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 they said that they can regulate carbon dioxide emissions from from fuel burning factories that means that they're not a fuel they're not a burning thing they're clean air they're clean so therefore the uh, ruling he had doesn't give him any authority he went ahead anyway to try to shut them all down and regulators sue to stop American Airlines and US Airways merger yeah Obama's people said well it's quite obvious that these two companies can survive quite well by themselves uh, because America is coming out of bankruptcy. Well, yeah, because they were being purchased by, it was not a merger. Uh, U.S. Air was buying American because what happened was the, uh, Ameri a senator allowed American Airlines to buy TWA, which should have never been sold. Oh, really? And, uh, and then what happened was, was uh, that American couldn't handle the size of the company and it collapsed on itself. Mm. And France struggles to separate Islam and the state. Well, the, they, they have no, they're not really struggling because they don't like the Muslims in France. Uh -huh. And more problems for Cory Booker. Yeah, this is a guy, hold on. He is, he's expected to be the next senator. He's going to replace Lautenberg, who was a Democratic senator. But the problem is, is that he, they, they said, uh, elect Booker go straight to jail because it looks like he's got lots of shady investments in internet internet businesses. What? Yeah, they're getting ready to elect a guy that may end up in a jail cell. Mm -hmm. And Senate roundly rejects proposal to halt Egypt aid. Well, yeah, because the, here's the problem. If if Obama would have left things well enough alone, call, but Obama has to interfere because he, he, he's, you know, he believes in the Muslim Brotherhood, they're good guys, that Mubarak would still be in control and there wouldn't be people being shot down in the streets because of Obama's interference. And California governor signs a transgender student bill. I mean, even Bill Riley said last night, he, he's telling these two, the woman that really, he said, you can't tell me that uh, uh, teenage boys are not going to claim that they're girls so that they can go into the shower rooms. Uh-huh. Yeah. Of course they would. Yeah, he said, I said, People, he said, this is what people think of me. He said, if I had the opportunity, hey, I'm transgender. <laughs> yeah. And Kerry hoping to improve U.S.-Pakistan relations. That ain't going to happen because we keep firing drones into their country. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and Bundesbank report on Greece raises pressure on Merkel. Yeah, because they basically have said that they're going to default yet again. Again? The country isn't making any money. First of all, you can't raise, this is a Democrat, Democrats, you cannot raise taxes on people that aren't making money. They raise taxes on people that weren't able to pay their taxes because nobody is vacationing in Greece because they don't want to get their heads bashed in. Are you serious? Yeah, well, you know, so what happens is the Germans have said, they got to de the German banks who have been funding it said they're not going to, they're going to default yet again, and they're going to default until hell freezes over. Merkel is on her way out. She just lost another set of her uh, local, uh, you see, what they do is they're elected by the local constituencies. They elected, you know, like a, a local minister or something, then they vote for the person in charge. She's lost almost every ounce of support she's got in the country, so. And Obama defends Summers and criticism from Democrats. 
Well, Summers has no chance of being. The one that's going to be is the one that basically says, well, I'm encouraged by how great the unemployment figures are at the moment. That's the one that's going to be nominated by him. And a Monty bubble is in for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay. That because you don't agree with somebody doesn't mean you're a racist. Especially when the person that doesn't agree happens to be the same color. <laughs>